Hello again bonsai friends, John Machowski here with another quick bonsai tip. One of my club members emailed me yesterday about pruning junipers. Uh, she has a juniper growing in her yard that she's imagining grooming into bonsai material and she wanted to know where do you cut and where don't you cut. And so here is one of my what I call railroad junipers I get from the train tracks. Um, the top is growing very very lush and so when I'm working on this I prune the top back much harder than as you can see the branches further down are much sparser and the foliage is much further out in the branches so what I'm trying to do is encourage back budding further in for example on this branch you can see it's very leggy and long but right near my fingers there's an area that's budding uh, almost halfway in from the furthest tips. So you're always trying to encourage that. And it's got these other leggy, wiry branches out here too that aren't going to be much use to me, but I want to try to encourage some back budding. So, in that case, what you can do is pinch buds toward the tips to try to encourage the plant to push more growth back here. In this case, I'm managing an entire tree for growth because the growth is so much more full and lush at the top I'm pinching the top back a lot more and in fact snipping off tips of branches these branches originally went out another three or four inches at the tips and I cut them way back down to this compact growth some of the lower branches I'm leaving almost alone because I really want these branches to um, build up uh, more reserves compared to the apex which tends in these plants always to get the strong get all the strength trying to get the lower branches to show more of this growth and um, you can see some of the branches barely have anything popping out on them but some of their neighbors are doing rather well so branch like this I don't prune at all a branch like this I prune very sparingly by nipping them back with my fingers and shortening them and then vigorous branches like the ones at the crown of this tree I not only prune the tips I cut the branches back down from their long growing tips they had before let's let's take a look at something over here that I haven't cut yet alright these are some others that haven't been pruned yet alright and so this one right here has very very long strong growing tips now if I wanted to compact this branch I could cut the whole outer Oh, 10 inches. If you take a look where my hand is, that's about 10 inches from my thumb to the tip there. I could cut it right back down to here and encourage it to thicken up. In this case, this is a branch that I want to grow very vigorously because it's part of an air layer. Um, on this tree here, okay, uh, I've got a growing tip that I want to expand. I want this to strengthen and fatten up, so I leave it alone in this case because I want the taper to go from here to here and I want to get some real vigor in the crown up here so I'm going to leave this to grow but as this side branch coming down here continues to grow I will trim this back here and here to encourage back budding but I'm not going to go crazy on it now this branch over here is very very vigorous it's doing great so I can now go in and snip off maybe these tips but you always want to leave a lot of fresh new this year's green growth on a branch otherwise you risk the branch getting shed all right so that's juniper tips for today